Let's go into our Wuji stance. So feet shoulder width apart, pointing more or less straight forward. Knees relaxed, just slightly bent. Take your hips, bring them just a little bit forward so the tailbone points towards the floor. Feel like the top of the head is being lifted upward, elongate the spine. Tuck the chin in a little bit. Relax the shoulders, let them drop down and forward, bringing the arms forward, the arms just hanging, nice and relaxed. Breathe in and out through the nose. And as you breathe in through the nose, let the abdomen expand out. We're drawing the breath all the way down. In traditional Chinese medicine, we talk about the three Dantians, the three energy centers. And the lower Dantian is located about two inches below the belly button. And we want to try and imagine we're drawing that breath all the way down into that lower Dantian. So as that breath comes down, it goes all the way down there. You can feel the heat build as that energy builds down there. Then we pause. And then with the exhalation, the abdomen contracts back towards the spine, pushing the breath all the way up and out the nose. And then we pause our breath again before we start our inhalation. Nice and easy. Focus on the breath, on the quality of the air as it enters your nostrils. Feel the breath enter the body, sink all the way down. And then feel the air coming up nice and warm as it exits the nostrils. Feel your feet sinking into the ground. Feel that connection to the earth. Feel your energy connecting to the center of the earth. Become aware of the earth supporting you. Let's start today with just the first of the four thumps for grounding or the earth element. So your cheekbone or the or orbit of the eye, the bone just below the eye, just go ahead and tap that. Strong enough that you can feel the vibrations, not so hard enough that it hurts. So if it is tender, that indicates that you've got kind of an energy blockage there. And therefore you, you need to do this to allow for the energy to flow, stimulating the stomach meridian. Feel that energy, that vibration through your skull, moving back into the spine, traveling down the spine, the rib cage, the hips, the legs, down the feet and out into the ground. Good, and just put your hands down. Just try to sense that energy moving through the body. 
And as you're doing that, become aware of also where the energy may not be moving, where it may be stagnant or blocked. Also notice where you may have some muscle tension, discomfort, maybe even some pain. Don't give it a moment's thought, just find those spots and move on. In traditional Chinese medicine, I have a saying, mind directs the chi. So by identifying these points, we're sending energy to these places and promoting healing. Let's do another grounding posture, connecting heaven and earth. Let's do bring down the heavens first, sorry. So as you breathe in, gather the energy in your palms. Feel the weight of the energy as you lift them up. And pause your breath. And then as you breathe out through the nose, push that energy down through the top of the head, down the torso, down the legs, deep into the ground. Twice more, breathe in. Breathe out. Good. I'll mirror you. Take your right hand, palm down, fingers facing towards the midline. Bring your left arm around palm up over your head, fingers again facing towards the midline. As you breathe out, push them apart. Pause, then breathe in, pinkies facing the body, the back of the hands cross. We breathe out, we push up the other side. Pause, switch again. Nice and slow with the breath. We gather the energy from the earth and from the heavens. We bring it down into the body. And then we take whatever energy that no longer serves us and we send it out to be recycled. And we gather energy again and bring it into the body. So you use the pauses in the breath as a transition. Just keep going. One more time, each side. Now let your hands spiral around, palms facing each other, top hand moves towards the lower hand, compressing the energy into a chi ball, into an energy ball. Roll that ball over once and then the hands separate. Spiral around. Breathe out as you press that ball down. Breathe in as you roll it over. Breathe out as you push apart. Breathe in. Breathe out.
Now the next time we make the chi ball, we're going to roll it twice. We're going to roll it once, then we're going to roll it back. And notice now the opposite hand comes up. We spiral around, form a chi ball, roll it once. Last time, press into a chi ball. Turn that chi ball on its side. Breathe in, separate the hands just about three or four inches. Breathe out, bring them back to that starting point. Try to feel the energy between your palms. Relax your fingers and hands. Relax the arms. Nice deep breaths. Try to cultivate that energy. Feel a resistance as you pull apart, like pulling taffy. And a resistance as you push together, like pushing in an inflated balloon. Nice and slow with the breath. Next time you breathe in, let the ball expand even more. Larger ball this time. And just now hold on to that large ball. Lift it up over your head. And as you breathe out, bring the ball down, feel your head enter that energetic ball and then pop out the top as that energetic ball is now chest height at the hips. The energy continues to flow down your legs into the ground as you bring the ball out in front of you as you breathe in. We pause, we breathe out as we bring the ball down. Pause, breathe in, breathe out. One more time. Bring the ball down in front of your lower Dantian. And just cradle the ball with two hands. And breathe it right into your chest. And feel that resistance, that perhaps tingling, that warmth as you push that energy into your chest. Breathe it in, feel it radiate out from the chest, down the arms, up the neck and head, down the torso and legs. Good. Drop your hands down. Bring your left hand up in front of you. Your right hand is behind you. The right hand fingers face the ground. The left hand of fingers face point up. 
we're just going to turn from the waist. So the hands at this point don't move. Just slowly turning, feel first your lower back, then your mid back, then your upper back turn. Now push the hands to the side, getting the upper back and shoulders, and then look over your shoulder, getting the neck. Then switch, coming back slowly, first the head, then the shoulders, mid, low back. And now we start stretching, twisting towards the opposite side. Breathe in as you bring it across the body and you reset. Pause. Breathe out as you twist. One more time. And back to center. Good. Spinal cord breathing. The key to this is your hips. We're going to bring our arms up. They're bent not quite, roughly a 45 degree angle. They're above the shoulders. We're gonna stick our butt out or we're gonna push our hips back as we lean back, look up to the ceiling, open the chest to the ceiling as we pull those elbows down and have those shoulder blades come down and together. As we breathe out, palms face us, pull the elbows together so the forearms are completely together. Hips come forward now towards the elbows, chin gets tucked into the chest, the back arches now the opposite direction. Use the pause to get a little bit of extra stretch. Then we breathe in. Stay within the range that's comfortable. Again, you should never feel any kind of discomfort or pain. Just feel some comfortable stretching. Opening up the spaces between the vertebra. Activating major energy pathway. One more time, make it count. Nice deep breath in, hold it, get a little extra stretch, breathe out nice and slow and easy all the way down, hips come forward. Pausing the breath, get a little extra stretch here. And then just come up and relax, good. Step out to a little wider stance. Put your hands on your hips. You're gonna push the hips to the left then to the right. Just do a nice rocking motion here. Stand nice and tall. 
as your body loosens up, especially as the leg muscles loosen up, you can open this up even more. Do whatever's comfortable. Good. Bring them in a bit. So we've got a nice stable stance here. We're going to push the hip. Then we're going to let the shoulder drop, then the head, then the hip, the opposite side, shoulder, head. Moves like a river. I always like to think of this as like you're a strand of kelp in the ocean, the waves pushing you back and forth. So the spine moves in six directions. This is the last two, completely side to side. So make sure your head relaxes and drops into it too. So the whole spine snakes side to side. Couple more. And just slow it down until you finally come back to center and not moving. Next one we're gonna do is called hold up the heavens. We're gonna breathe in. As you breathe in, you're gonna lift the energy up from the floor, up the legs, up the torso. Hands rotate in front of the face. They come up, fingers interlace. The arms end up behind the head. So we're looking up between the fingers. We have to lean back just a little bit to see that. We breathe out, so we sweep down. So we breathe in. Breathe out. One more time. Now we're going to do it again with a slight variation. So we breathe in. Hands come up and slightly behind your shoulders. Now holding your breath, look forward. Feel the stretch in the back of the neck. And then breathe out as you come down. Breathe in. Last one. Good. Let's do press the earth, touch the sky. Another great exercise for grounding. Let's put our hands on the kidneys. Let's give them a nice rub. Try to feel the warmth building in the kidneys might want to visualize dark blue light filling the kidneys. Kidneys are the batteries of the body, the res main reservoir of energy. So it's always important to keep the kidney meridian flowing. Good. So we're now going to push down the back of the legs. When we get to the bottom, just let the hands and arms drift up, all the way up. Lean back just slightly. Then bring the energy down to about chest height. Turn your hands over, bring them around to the side. Bring them around to the front, over to the lower Dantian, forming a triangle. 
So we breathe in, we come around to the kidneys. Breathe out, we go down the legs. Breathe in, the arms come up. Breathe out as we push that energy down. Breathe in as we bring it across. Breathe out as we go to the triangle. Round to the kidneys. This time lean back on the kidneys a little bit, using your hands to support you. Then we go down, float up. One last time. And finish triangle. So the thumbs are at the height of the belly button. So that triangle is really in front of the lower Dantian. Let the hands drop down. Fingers spread apart. Thumbs are facing forward. Fingers are facing towards the floor. This is from the Zhijin Jing or muscle and sinew. This is one of those instances where I'm going to have you really tighten and stretch and lock out. So is you're going to lock out the fingers, the thumbs, spread them all apart, put all that resistance into the hands, the wrist as you bring them up and rotate them up towards you until the fingers are pointing forward, then relax. Breathe in as we bring them into the chest. Breathe out as we do baby chicken, pushing the fingers towards the floor. So we've got them kind of in this weird, pushing very hard down the top of the hands. Breathe in, relax. Breathe out, push with the palms of the hands. So pulling the fingers back, pushing with the heels of this hands, sorry. Tensing everything, the shoulders on down. Relax and bring it in. Breathe out, fingers to the horizon. Stretch those fingers apart. Bring it in and down. We start over, breathe in. Tensing everything. Relax and breathe in as you bring it in. And breathe out. Breathe in as we baby chick do the baby chicken. Relax. Breathe in with the heels of the hands going out. Relax. Fingertips going out. Relax it in and down. One last time.
bring them into the chest, bring the hands forward, fingers pointing straight forward, karate chop the air. Do it very fast, as fast as you can. Start to feel those fingertips getting really, really heavy. Slowly slow it down. Go ahead, take the back sides of the hands, hit them together, especially at the base of the pinkies. Now more at the wrists. Hit one wrist to the other, getting the inner and outer gates. Switch. The hands together, the forearms together, interlace the fingers, turn figure eights. Trying not to move the arms as much. Try to get this all out of the wrists. Reverse. Good, keeping the fingers interlaced, lift the hands up, push one elbow down and lift the other elbow up, putting some tension on the fingers here. And then we relax and we switch. One more time, slowly. Good, now Saturday night move, Saturday night fever move, just nice and easy, kind of flowing. Good. Bring your hand up to the just inside the crease here on the chest and just tap along just in along the inside of the crease here. And switch to the opposite side. Let's go back to a very, very wide stance, whatever is comfortable. And again, just start moving side to side. As the legs loosen up, you can go a little deeper, a little further apart. Feet pointing forward. Good. Now, as promised, we'll do sneak creeps down. So, gonna bend your left leg, keep the right leg straight as you lean over to the left. Your right hand reaches down towards the foot. Your left hand comes up into a bird's beak and just kind of stretch that. Then come across and switch. Breathe in as you come up, breathe out as you go down. Try to stay upright, not bending at the waist. Last one. Good. Walk it in. About shoulder width apart. Bring your hands down first to the quad, the leg crease here, and just tap with an open fist up and down that crease, opening up the leg gates.
and bring them around basically from either side of the spine almost to the hips, the hip bones. Not quite. You don't want to be doing this on bone. Come back around to the quad. Come down to the knees. The palms of your hands are just above the kneecaps. Your fingers are over the kneecaps. Just kind of give a nice rub there. See if you can feel the warmth coming out of the palms, going into the knees. Now keeping the hands right as we've had them positioned with the palms just above the kneecaps, you're gonna bend down with just the knees. And as you do that, the elbows go out and the hands rotate to the side. And we come back up, fingers point towards the ground. Fingers point towards each other. Breathe out as you go down. Breathe in as you come back up. Try to feel again warmth coming out of the palms, going all through the knees. Last one. Good. Keeping the hands again on tops of the knees, rotate the knees forward and to the side, almost locking them out as you go back, but not quite. Making as big a circle as you can comfortably. And reverse. Bring the feet together, rotate the knees in one direction together. And reverse. Slow it down, give the knees a nice rub. Let them separate again to shoulder width apart. Rub on the sides of the knees, the outsides of the knees. Tap on the outside of the knees. Not too hard. Rub on the inside of the knees. and tap on the inside of the knees. Come on back behind the knees. Give them a nice rub. And again, a tap. Good. Come on up. Let's do swish, swish. So if you remember, put all your weight basically into one leg and start with whichever leg you prefer. You're gonna lift the leg up, the opposite leg up. You're gonna come across like a soccer kick. You can either come, keep it off the ground this entire procedure, this entire practice or not. Totally what you're capable of. If you need a chair to support you, that's absolutely fine too. So you're gonna come across. If you need to, put the foot down, then lift it up, come across. And as you come across, open, pull the knee up and open the quad and then come back. 
And so we switch. So you can call it swish, swish. That's where it gets its name. Find a focal point about 12 feet in front of you. That makes it easier to keep your balance. Try to, <laughs> sorry, try to bring the knee out as much as you can. So you really open this up. So as I come across, I come, I really try to open up lift and then I bring it back. So I close it down, I open it, and then kind of give it a little bit extra opening and stretch by lifting the knee. One more time each side. And down, good. Bring your feet together. Actually, bring your feet to shoulder width apart. We're gonna do another earth move, pebble in the pond. Let's do two-handed pebble in the pond. So you're gonna use the hips here. As the hips go back, the hands kind of float forward. Hands turn over so it's palms up. Hips come forward, bringing the hands back. So the idea in most of the Qigong postures, we're using the body mechanics so that we use as little effort as possible to cause movement. Breathe out as you go out. Breathe in as you come back in. Turning a little bit of a circle here. Now try and envision that you're standing by a pond here and your fingers, your palms run along the surface of that palm producing ripples. Those ripples are energy. And so then we capture that energy and we bring it into the body. We send out energy that no longer serves us through the ripples and then gather fresh energy. Just try to get a nice flow here. Let it go with your breath. It should be nice and smooth and slow rather than jerky. You start to feel tingling in your fingertips, or warmth under your hands or some resistance. All those things are good. One more time, come back to the center. Come across and then bring the energy into the lower Dantian. Then come across with the opposite hand. And so we're just kind of moving side to side, gathering the chi. When you feel like you've filled up the lower Dantian with the Chi, let your hands float up to the middle Dantian, the chest, the heart center. Just gather that energy, bring it into the heart. If you like to use visualizations, imagine gathering red light, bringing it in. Once you feel like the middle Dantian 
is full of wonderful loving energy. We move up to the upper Dantian and here we're not going to move side to side. We're just going to bring it in. So using the hips. Upper Dantian, just above the area between your eyebrows. Area referred to very often as the third eye. The upper Dantian houses your wisdom chi. The middle Dantian, your love chi. The lower Dantian, your vitality chi. One more time. Bring your feet together, drop your hands down. Let's do one, bring in, bring down the heavens. Breathe in, gather the energy. Breathe out, push it down the body. Place one palm over the other. The thumb is about the height of the belly button, putting the palms about two inches below the belly button. Either intertwine the webs of the thumbs or hold at the wrist. So one palm is over the other. And try to feel that energy coming out of the palms. As that energy or you want to picture white light coming out of the palms. It's being absorbed by this little pearl that is your lower Dantian. Feel that pearl getting warmer. Picture that pearl getting brighter. And then the pearl begins to send the energy spiraling down your legs and up your torso as you let your body relax and rock and sway, bamboo in the wind. Let the energy move your body. And as that energy is moving through the body, it's removing any darkness, any energetic stagnation, energetic blockages dispelling negative thoughts and emotions until every part of your body is aglow with this energy. And let the energy then expand outward, encasing you in a protective cocoon. And as you float weightlessly inside this cocoon, become aware of what it feels like to be safe. to be healthy, to be at peace. Take a deep breath in, gather those energies, those feelings, and take them with you for the rest of the day. Thank you. <laughs>